Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I want to apologize for not having a video feed um, of myself in this video. So I updated the drivers of the webcam and it totally distorted the video. Um, so I wanted to uh, get this video out quickly and I didn't have you know time to play with the webcam tonight. So hopefully it's fixed um, for the next video. Um, I might just buy a new one. Um, so anyways, in this video, I wanted to show a spreadsheet I put together um, that I've been working on for quite a while. Um, for tracking, you know, gains and losses that work. Uh, I mean, it'll work great with Crypto Hopper or really any other um, trading bot. Uh, as well as, you know, if you're manually buying or selling on an exchange. And I want to share that spreadsheet with you guys too. Um, and then, you know, continue with an update from the last video on Crypto Hopper because I did forget to mention a few tweaks that I had around signals um, because I always forget to show that uh, for some reason. Um, and then, you know, kind of uh, just show you some other things with uh, Crypto Hopper here. Um, before I do that, just a quick little rant. Um, I, don't, I don't really don't want to do this, but a few people reached out to me here on YouTube and, and you know, in the face in my Facebook group, and uh, that another YouTube YouTuber posted uh, something negative, kind of, uh, you know, about me in their private group. Um, like I said, I wasn't gonna bring this up, but uh, I've received a couple like you know messages, like FYI kind of kind of messages about it, and you know people talking to me about it over messaging. Um, so I went and kind of checked it out and saw it for myself, and kind of you know was taken back by it. Um, just you know inaccuracies and false claims, kind of calling me you know like scammy or whatever. Um, I just wanted to clear the air um, if anyone else saw that. Uh, in no, you know, in no way, shape, or form would I ever talk negatively about someone um, in a public forum. You know, whether it's you know YouTube, a private group, a Facebook group. You know, unless I was personally affected uh, by that person, you know, in a harmful way. Um, you know, if I had proof of an actual event that took place, you know, that hurt someone else, you know, such as a real scam or something like that, um, I would never accuse someone, you know, of anything, you know, without proper facts to to back up my claim. Um, that's just not the type of person I am. Um, and th there's enough hate, you know, right now in the world. Um, and we don't need that, uh, you know, in YouTube or, or the crypto world. Um, you know, in relation to Crypto Hopper, you know, I clearly state that, you know, I'm not an expert and I'm simply sharing my journey, you know, what works, what doesn't. Anyone that calls himself an expert with Crypto Hopper or even crypto in general, that, you know, that should probably raise some red flags. Um, unless you, you know, had a hand in designing the software itself, you know, or a prior stock trader, you know, by profession or, you know, had education and work background, you know, in finance te and technology, you probably shouldn't be calling yourself an expert, right? You know, which I do not do um, or call myself by any means at all. And if I did, please call me out for it because I am not. Um, you know, if there's any accuracy, inaccuracies, you know, in my videos, you know, call me out for it. I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes. Um, you know, and if I, um, I may be guilty of clicky titles, uh, right. But, uh, you know, none, but none of them are, are false or represent misinformation, you know, like that, like that last video of the 20%, uh, trades. I mean, clearly you can see in the video, there was a 20% trade. So. That wasn't uh, misinformation by any means, even though I think someone mentioned or that was mentioned in that post about me or something. But clearly that was if you watch the video that was in there. So um, and this whole thing got me thinking that I may just reduce the amount of the Crypto Hopper content going forward because it's not worth me getting ridiculed on. Um, all I'm doing is sharing my journey. Um, what's working, what's work, you know, what's not working, that sort of thing. and I didn't want it to come across as I'm an expert because I'm not. I'm literally just sharing my journey here. I am not an expert. And, and in all seriousness, uh, you know, I'm pushing, you know, 40 years old here. I mean, it's, I'm too old for this. Uh, I'm too, you know, I just don't have the time for this and it's childish, right? I mean, I may even be too old to be making YouTube videos, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, Plus, you know, I really want to start doing more ICO reviews, you know, that tie into my part-time job, you know, as well as share more crypto advice, such as, you know, coin recommendations and, you know, uh, things, more things I'm learning now, um, being part of this crypto funds management company um, that I'm working, that I'm working for. 
Um, and, you know, my goal here is just to clear the air. Um, in no way, shape, or form would I ever share this person's name, even if someone asked me, um, because, you know, I'm not going to do that, and that's just not fair to them or, or me or anyone else um, or their group or anything like that. Um, I even protected them and, and their group by setting up like a comment filter in YouTube. So if anyone tries to comment about it, they're going to, the, the, their comment gets immediately deleted. Um, so if, you know, if they put their group, if that person's group name or that person's name or anything like that, it, the comment immediately gets deleted because that's not what this is about. That's not what YouTube's about. We're here for, you know, sharing, you know, information and learning and meeting people and, you know, just building community. We're not here to, you know, talk bad right i mean it's there's too much hate in the world for this right it's just not worth it um and plus i don't want anyone retaliating or anything like that or you know our fan or our fans and i'm not we're not celebrities but our you know our followers you know fighting back and forth that's stupid i mean come on it's ridiculous um that's not what this these channels are for um besides the i you know i've seen the guy before i watched some of his videos he seems like a super nice guy a really nice guy actually and, and we share similar passions um and i'd rather work together than be viewed as an enemy in any way i mean i actually you know I, like i said i started watching you know some of his videos but you know i would promise never ever to steal any of his content um or configurations and you know i've, I've learned some things from him in the, in the past too and i hope he can learn some things from me um and you know and you know that's you know, you can hopefully you can tell from the sound of my voice. I'm a little worked up over this, but you know, I, I get it. And there's competition for YouTube videos. That's fine um, for getting the views and that sort of thing. But I, I don't want that. That's not what this is about, right? Um, I'd rather you know work together than develop some sort of competition. It's just ridiculous. At the end of the day, we're providing you know free content to people and you know asking for advice um, back to learn together. Um, so anyways, if you go to the about page, you know, on the Life Zoltar YouTube channel, um, I started the YouTube channel basically to share, you know, passions and interests with hopes to, you know, connect to others, basically, to build a community, just engage in and, you know, learn. Um, and that's exactly what we did with the, the Life Zoltar Facebook group, right? Um, the channel did go more into crypto. Um, due to the, you know, crypto's popularity, but, you know, I do still post about other, you know, and, you know, financial topics and, and that, that sort of thing. And, you know, we'll get into other stuff down the road too, but, um, you know, the channel will kind of go into the direction of what people want to see too. Um, and then you can kind of see my background too, you know, of, uh, there in the, in the video description. But like I said, I'm no expert by any means whether it's, you know, cryptocurrencies or, or anything like that. Now, I do have a uh, science degree in or computer science um, as well as, you know, master's in business and finance. So as far as education, I have, you know, tech and business and fi finance education, but that doesn't mean that qualifies me for cryptocurrency. I don't think anyone uh, has education for cryptocurrency, right? Um, and as far as my background I, my background is uh, uh, tech I mean I've worked for you know software companies I've worked for you know IT companies uh, you know electronic companies for, you know fortune 500 companies uh, specifically around software um, almost you know web platforms just like crypto hopper actually um, I've been a you know software analyst I've been you know kind of an architect uh, did some pro programming in the past. I'm more into software management now, more uh, leadership, um, IT leadership now. Um, but it, and, and again, that does not qualify me to be an expert in cryptocurrencies by any means or crypto hopper. So please don't misinterpret that by at all. Um, so again, I just wanted to to clear that clear the air there. Um, and one last thing, real quick, uh, as far as compensation, you know, for the YouTube channel goes in Facebook group and all that besides some affiliate links like in the video descriptions the only thing I receive to be 100% on you know upfront with you guys is pennies on the dollar uh, from YouTube like for some ad slots right totally not worth my time uh, 
you know, in making these videos and the work required leading up to them. Um, but that's not what this is about. It's about building a community, you know, to share knowledge. Um, and, you know, I'm learning from you guys too, right? Um, and building, you know, the Facebook group of like-minded folks um, to chat with. And, you know, that was the main goal of the channel anyways. Now, I did recently offer the, like, a consulting service or, or for uh, folks that have asked, essentially, for Crypto Hopper, like, general crypto stuff that, um, but that's only because I was bombarded by multiple requests from, uh, for folks, you know, reaching out to me, basically telling me to offer this. Otherwise, I would not have done this because I'm not an expert and I should not be, you know, showing, you know, offering this service to, to the general uh, public, right? Or actually, you know, no one's really an expert in cryptocurrencies anyways. Um, but in order to be fair, you know, to them and myself, regards to time and effort, this was the only way uh, we can make this work. So besides, I mean, everything I offer is, is for free on this YouTube channel um, and in, the, in our Facebook group anyway. So, I mean, if you can't get it off this YouTube channel or Facebook group, that's basically what this is for. And, and again, the services were really only meant to help those that specifically ask for them. And they're really only meant to get people started and set up. Um, as well as share with them what I've learned thus far. It's not professional advice by any means. So I just wanted to clear the air. Okay, so that 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 rant was way too long, <laughs> and I'm obviously a little worked up over it. And I did. I just don't want this YouTube channel or anything like that to go in a bad direction. So I just wanted to clear the air. Um, so looking at uh, getting into the crypto opera. So looking here, um, if you looked at my or watched my last video you will know that I am working with someone um, helping them, you know, set, set their account up, um, you know, configuring it um, to the best of my knowledge. Again, not an expert. Um, and because they were completely unfamiliar with Crypto Hopper, even though they tried, you know, watching many, many YouTube videos, they were still kind of, you know, needed a lot of help. Right. So I basically just got them started. Um, and you can see he, he has a lot of Bitcoin invested here. Again, this is not my account. Um, he has a lot of Bitcoin invested. So this is a good way to look at your returns. So if you go to the stats page um, and you can see, you know, we're making, I think that's almost $6,000. Let me see. I think I entered this before 0.3 or no. Uh, so I use this website, by the way. It's called uh, Coindesk and then forward slash calculator. It's a good... Uh, Bitcoin converter. Oh, thirty-five hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we made uh, about thirty-five hundred dollars on this. Now, again, I reset everything. So if you watch my last video, all these stats have been reset because he deposited more Bitcoin since that last video, um, and since um, you know, since he deposited more Bitcoin, um, I wanted to reset all of our stats just to kind of start fresh. So not bad. Thirty-five hundred dollar return. Um, that's, you know, pretty good. Um, so I want to get in, so I showed the config uh, settings before in the last video, nothing's really changed there. Um, so I don't really want to get into that, but what I always forget to show are the signal settings. So the actual, uh, actually before I do that, uh, let's show the trade history. So like the last video, it's, you know, it's making really, really solid trades, really high trades, which is good. Um, you know, make sure you watch that last video for the configuration settings to get those, to get those trades. So regarding the signal settings, every single video I've made on Crypto Hopper, um, I forget to show the darn uh, configuration settings for the individual signals. So I want to do that now. So I'm subscribed to Mining Hamster and Crypto grower so if i'll show you the crypto grower settings i have percent profit set as at 1.6 uh percentage higher bids set, uh or set at 0 0.08 and then allow all coins because we're on the kangaroo subscription now the reason for this let me just quickly explain i don't want this video to get too long uh crypto grower is not a volume pump group like mining hamster crypto goer does uh it's more of a analysis signals like ta so but there if you look at the 
if you go back and, and just look at the you know the report on crypto grower their trades are really really small um, like under three percent so my trailing stop loss was set at three uh, percent so really it was never even tr or my trailing arm I mean was wasn't even being triggered so now basically every signal that I get from crypto grower um, will now be uh, set to sell at 1.6 so I'm basically squeezing out all the I'm selling all these signals now that for crypto grower at 1.6 so before they're basically just sitting there you know like in open uh, positions and I just wanted to make sure that I was get you know selling all these crypto grower signals um, and you know not missing out on them so before and another thing too this market order I'm, I'm seeing some videos of other folks and uh, other people talking about this they have it selected but you know again I'm not an expert so I'm not telling you to select it or unselect it I'm just gonna give you an opinion um, so what I think about this is if you select this so you if you select it you're basically taking the lowest or the market order so therefore you're you're not selecting the price of the uh the signal or you're ba basically you're not you're not taking the 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 price the coin price of what the signal is so the problem is if that signal comes in at a lower price you're not going to you're not going to get that price so so think think of it this way so if a signal comes in at let's just make up a number like 100 satoshis right and the market order is the market order is at 200 stats with this on and you buy it you know 200 you know that's 100 more than the signal told you to buy at so instead of you know waiting for that signal price you know basically the price to drop you just way overpaid for that coin and now we'll probably have a negative position you know sitting for a long time so that's my take on it um if anyone feels differently please let me know um again i'm that's my opinion so please let me know if anyone else feels differently about this market order um so uh again percentage profit uh percent higher bid so what so what i'm doing instead of doing a market order i'm basically saying okay i'll buy at what the signal tells me to buy and then i i up bid that what the signal tells me to buy by 0.08 percent um actually you can raise that up so if you're if you find you're not getting if you're not if the bot's not buying signals raise this amount so the problem is you know the the signaler sig you know pumps out all these signals and everyone's buying on these signals um, at the same time so if you're missing out on all these buys this is your problem here so that this you need to upbid uh, these your buys on these signals so just keep raising this number this percentage number here until your bot is able to buy all the signals that's basically the problem if you're missing out um, and then also, you know, allow all coins if you have the kangaroo. So that's basically my settings for Crypto Grower. If anyone else has any questions, let me know um, down in the comments, uh, and then I'll, you know, see, I'll try to answer them. And then Mining Hamster. Uh, so again, you know, I have market order off. You know, I don't have percentage profit on because Mining Hamster is more of like a pump. Uh, signaler and in there if you look at the uh, about me or the readme page on them their coins you know shoot upwards of you know like 30 percent or you know even higher so you don't want to set like a little one or two percent you know profit percentage here you want to leave that open and that's why we have that trailing stop loss set up in our config that you can see in my previous video to catch those big gains so when you know a coin goes up past three percent the arm engages and when it dips down below i, I believe i had a 0.75 that's when it sells so that's how i got you know like that 20 percent trade and, you know we're getting you know you know eight percent and six percent you know like those huge trades and again you want a, a percentage higher bid so when you when the signal uh comes in um, it tells you what price to buy it. Everyone's the problem is everyone's buying it at that price. So in order not you know to not miss out on that signal, you kind of want to pay a little bit more for it, and that's why you want to put a little higher percentage bid on there to make sure you're able, the, the bot's able to buy it. You know on the exchange for a slightly higher price, but you're you know you, you, obviously you're still getting it at a de decent price. 
um, but you're just making sure you get it right so anyways that's my uh, signal settings um, again watch that prior video now uh, you know watch the prior video you know on the configuration settings now I want to get into the spreadsheet so I have been working way too much on this thing um, and you know I want to share this with you guys too um, but know that you know a ton of work is it doesn't look like much but there's a lot of formulas and stuff uh, here that like this BTC price for the day like this formula here my Jeez, like I can't even tell you how long I spent trying to figure that darn thing out. So there was a lot of time put into this thing, and I want to give it out, you know, to you guys. But let me just quickly show you how it works. Um, so when I, you know, give it to you guys, uh, you know, you'll know how to use it. So column A is the date. Um, so you basically, you know, I think I have it just, you know, to. Uh, go to May uh, 17th but you know you can extend that and, um, so the date now BTC on exchange so how this works is so I clear this out um, basically you want to start so if you're starting like with one Bitcoin type this in so everyone always asks you know how do you track your crypto gains um, especially when you're using like you know Bitcoin as your base currency because Bitcoin price is always changing it's like impossible to know are you up are you down did you make any money did you not make any money how in the world do you track properly your crypto gains so again not an expert just showing you how I how I am starting to do this going forward and I think think it may work I really do I really think it may work so your base currency is Bitcoin your the number of Bitcoin that number does not fluctuate outside of any gains or losses right so that now the price of Bitcoin and the coins change but the number of the actual Bitcoin on the exchange should not change unless you're buying and selling it or you know uh, you know using it for other coins right so now I'm kind of speaking in the terms of a bot um, specifically crypto hopper so I set this spreadsheet up to track my gains and losses with crypto hopper but you can use this spreadsheet for you know manually buying and selling on exchange for you know other bots um, as well but just know that this is more tuned for crypto hopper so how you do this is so as an example, I have crypto top, crypto hopper running on Bitrix. So what I do is I record my starting BTC balance on Bitrix. Say right now, so I'm starting crypto hopper today. I have one exactly one Bitcoin on Bitrix. And I'm starting on actually what's today? Today is the 11th. So let's uh well, let's just say I started on the 9th. What the heck? That's the top of the spreadsheet. So I started on um one one Bitcoin okay so now tomorrow I look into Bitrix or I look into crypto hopper because it has a total balance on exchange if you go into crypto hopper and it seems to be fairly accurate so I, I believe you can use that um, but when you first start out use the ba BTC balance on exchange and then compare it to your bot just to make sure that you know the numbers are the same so you go in and say now you have like point or one point zero uh, one that's a one percent profit and then you know the next day you have you know one point zero two that's another like one percent profit okay that is really the only way you are going to be able to track properly your percent profit you cannot go by dollars um, or whatever currency you're using like in my case I'm in the United States I'm using US dollars so and now so that's your percent profit using your total BTC now again this if anyone has please critique me again I'm, I'm just sharing you this but I want people to critique me let me know if this sucks let me know if I'm doing this wrong let me know if my formulas are wrong let me know if I completely messed this up or I have no idea what the heck I'm talking about please let me know because that that's what this is for um, because I want feedback from you guys 
and um, you know at the end of the day you give me that feedback and I'll share it right back with you and at the end of the day maybe we can have an awesome working spreadsheet that we can all use so that's the goal here so um, so these these columns that are highlighted in blue these are set so these all have formulas so that's a basically a date formula that's a formula that's a formula 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 so don't edit these blue columns just edit the uh, the white the white column so now um, I actually have values left over in here from when I was playing with it before um, but you can see so now uh, here BTC returns to the day so back on that stats page of crypto hopper it has that BTC returns to the day so now you can enter that value here so back uh, yesterday you know we had a value of this today we had a value of this on that stats page so we made you know we made literally thirty five hundred dollars so far which was you know pretty darn cool now again you know we're trading with a lot of money a lot of Bitcoin so um, you know that's pretty you know that's a 19 percent gain on trades which is the only reason for that is because we're trading with so much Bitcoin so please don't expect that please do not expect that unless you're trading with hundred hundreds of thousands of dollars um, but so just to recap BTC on exchange put that number of value in here now again you'll have to do this every day and you know unless you only wanted to do this like weekly or something um, but in order for this to work you literally have to log in um, I, mean, I mean weekly you'd have to you know skip days right so you'd have to do it you know here and then you'd have to do it here and then you know but if you wanted to have values for every day you'd have to log into the exchange or compare it with um, crypto hopper put in the BTC amount go on the stats page put in the BTC returns for day again all these formulas are filled in for you it calculates the percent returns on trade um, and then this amount Put this amount as well because now crypto hoppers so you may have 10 bitcoin um on the on the exchange but crypto hoppers not u utilizing all of it for the most part right so you um it's it may only be using like as an example here so this was left over when i was playing with it before so btc being traded on crypto hoppers only 9.75 but we have um you know we have a lot more uh he or actually he's adding a lot more uh bitcoin you know on on bitrix so it's not utilizing all all the bitcoin so just put the amount that uh the bot tells you that's being traded here um and then you know this will do a calculator uh actually that's not a calculation but just to you know for you can keep track of things as we go so now um, column H the last uh, column so BTC price for the day so this is a formula I can't even tell you how long I spent hours trying to figure this darn thing out because it's not um, I couldn't find a simple formula to get this to work so what it does is there's a uh, like a Google Finance BTC price that what it does is it, it queries uh, Google Finance price for BTC and it pulls that in because this is, this is a Google sheet so it's obviously you know online in the you know Google Cloud um, so it has those API interfaces to uh, Google Finance so it can pull that in real time so it'll show you so you can go back and say okay I didn't do good back on you know March 10th that's because look at BTC price was horrible the whole market tanked or like today okay I did you know pretty good because look at the BTC price it's so as so this formula actually rides on the date so that's why uh, you're not seeing um, BTC prices here so as time goes on like I said today is the 11th so come tomorrow this um, these values will automatically fill in so now as a heads up I'm still trying this is a shared doc so as I make updates you guys should get those updates live um, I'm still working on this as you can see because right now this is today is the 11th but for some reason it's pulling in another price for tomorrow um, but if you go to so right now the price is uh, 93.99 but if you go to the spreadsheet um, I'm not exactly sure exactly what time it's pulling into the BTC 
C price, but it is giving you a general idea of the day. So if you go back on March uh, 10th, that's a general price for the day. Now, if you go back on uh, March 9th, that's a general price for the day. Um, now, again, a Bitcoin, there's no closing. There's no open and closing price like, like a stock market. So it's a hard to get like a, 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 a like an actual set price. Now, I am looking into seeing if I can like capture a, a certain timestamp. Like if I go back on March 9th and capture, you know, noon Pacific Standard Time, what was the price? I'm still working on that formula. It's not easy. Um, I'm trying to figure it out. So when I give you guys the spreadsheet, like I said, it's shared. So as I make my updates, um, you guys should get those updates as well. Um, and also, if, if you guys figure it out, please let me know too. So then we can share it. But again, it should give you a general idea of the BTC price for the day. And then obviously here, the last column is comments. So I, you know, I can see, or I, I share here, you know, balances, this is my own knowledge uh, for myself. You know, I'm going to take my balances at 11 a.m. Standard Time every day, and then uh, I put a note here: the market tanked um, on this day because the, of the Mount Gox trustee uh, announced um, that they're selling, uh, you know, 400 million dollars, basically 400 million dollar sell-off. That's why the market absolutely tanked. Um, and then today, which is March 11th, BTC price surged back up um, because that Mount Gox sell-off, Mount Gox sell-off was paused until September and that's why you can see it went from 87 back up to like 95. So that's the spreadsheet. So like I said, I spent so much time. It doesn't look like much, but just trying to figure this stupid uh, BTC price for day formula took me hours. Like my um, weekend was like spent trying to figure this dumb thing out. So, um, so what I ask for you guys, if you can help me grow this channel, um, I'll share the spreadsheet with you guys. Um, so if you could uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, um, and then let me know once, once you've done that, like, um, and just like comment on the video um, so I can see that you've done it. Um, give me a couple days, um, obviously because I'm super busy, um, and then I'll send the spreadsheet to you. So when you do that, like I can see who my subscribers are, um, and then I have like a one-page view, and I can just go boom, 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 and I can send you the link right on this page directly to the email that's associated to your YouTube account. Um, so that'd be a super quick way uh, to share this, um, you know, basically all in one screen. Um, so again, uh, I spent so much time on this. I just please ask if you guys could could help uh, do that for me. So again, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe like the video, it'd be cool. Um, and then comment um, on the video when you guys um, have done that. And then, uh, then I'll know like once you're a subscriber, then I can go to that page and I can go boom, 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 and uh, send you the, the link right on that uh, through a message, you know, through your uh, email or through your uh, YouTube uh, email. So that's all I ask. Um, that's literally all I ask in order to share because I spent so much time on this thing. Um, I just ask that you guys could do that for me. Um, and then also make sure to check out the uh, Life Soul Tart website. Um, there's a blog on the homepage. I'm starting to be more act active on it. I'm going to start sharing. Again, it's totally free, all 100% free. Um, I'm getting a lot of in inside information now working for this crypto um, you know, funds management company. Um, you know they're in with the big, the big whales like we look, like we get to call them, uh, guys trading you know with hundreds on Bitcoin or whatever. So they have a lot of in, inside information. So what whatever information I can share legally, I will try to start sharing with you guys. And I'm going to you know do that via you know either this YouTube channel or um, on this uh, this blog here. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you you know check out the Life Zoltar. Uh, website here and you can subscribe to this too. Come down here and you know put in your email address um, and you get notified when there's a blog post. Um, and again I'm starting to get like some insider information now now working for this crypto uh, funds management company. So it'd be good stuff. Alright guys um, again apologize for the length of the video and getting a little emotional there in the beginning. Um, so uh, hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, again, I want to close by saying I'm not an expert by anything I say or do here. Um, and I'm just trying to help and build a community and spread the love, so to speak. And 
um, we're all just one big family and hopefully we can all work together and, um, you know, learn from each other. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks again and see you in the next video and hopefully I'll have a working webcam. All right, see you then.